This is a tutorial on adding time code to your project. Now, in this scenario, um, I've already taken a DVD and I've extracted the IFO files and I have now imported them and have a project in Sony Vegas. I have went over that in a previous tutorial, so you can look for it. Now, once you have your project together, you're going to want to um, time code this. Now, the reason being for this one is it's old films that we've converted onto a DVD, and now these people want to edit it and go through it. Um, so, you know, get all these spots out of it, even though we could clearly do that ourselves, um, like taking these blank spots out. But they requested to have everything transferred in its entirety, and then they wanted to go through it and make the edit decisions themselves. So first off, you can go down to view. Now, when you go into view, there are some options here. And if yours is not selected, then this is where you'll find it. And this one particular one is video FX, which sometimes um, you like you may not realize you know where it's at your windows sometimes you'll open a window and maybe you can't find it so you would just close it and then you know for sure you would go back to view and then click back on video FX and then you can clearly see that this is exactly where I want to be and here is your time code option so there's two different ways to do it uh, adding the time code. You can drop the time code down onto your track and then that will create one continuous time code. Or you can take each individual clip and then take your time code from these options up here. Let's just say I'm going to take uh, time and time and frames to make it easy and drop it down onto my media and then this preference box will come up and then you can change it if you want it you know in the middle which I absolutely do not and then you can make it in the middle left or right over here which is really all preference but I like it on the right we'll just leave it at the default so you can see that the time code is at three. It started over at my new clip. So every individual clip will have its own time code. Option two is time and frames. And then I'm going to come down here and you can see my cursor has changed. It wants to add something to my track. It is now popped down this little, um, additional track that you could go through and make some adjustments to. Now, as you can see, so we're at, you know, three minutes continuous. So it is now a continuous time code. Every situation is a little different and it's hard to really come up with some scenarios of for which one you would use which for, but just have to experiment and do it that way. So that's really it, and now you would just render it out. I do suggest that you save two different versions. One is a time code version, one is a regular version, just in case something weird happens and you can't restore it or, you know, you rendered it or whatever. You know, you rendered it with the time code and now all you have is the time code because something weird happened. Render it out with the time code, without the time code, and just back yourself up or, you know, to make sure you have all your files backed up. Well, thanks for joining me.